Hey guys, Brett here, and one thing that I've said over and over again, because it's completely true, is that if you want to make money online, you need to have your own product. If you don't have your own product, you're just a consumer, and consumers don't make money online. Sellers make money online. It's no coincidence that every single person that's successful in the internet marketing business also has their own product to sell. When you have your own product to sell, you not only make money from the product sales, but you also build up your buyer's email list. You, in essence, get paid to build your email list. What we're looking at here is my Brett Circle training. Brett Circle is my membership site where I teach people how I started and run my business online. I teach people exactly how I make money and how they can make money just the way I do. Brett Circle has been up for a while now and it has gotten a lot of great feedback from a lot of users. It has my own actual real income proof on it. It has testimonials from actual customers who have nothing but great things to say about it. And if we scroll down to the very bottom here, you can see I actually sell Brett Circle myself for $97. And at this price, I generate a few hundred dollars in completely passive income. The only way I market Brett Circle is from a little banner that's on my personal blog. Now, I know that training is one of the hardest things for people new to the I am business to sell. Because if you don't already have the income proof, if you don't already have the testimonials, if you don't already have an established business, how can you sell training? Well, I decided to do something very special. I decided to release agency access to Brett Circle. What this means is that you're going to be able to sell my training using my reputation, using my testimonials, using my sales video, using my income proof as if it was your own. You're in essence selling my product as if it was your own using my reputation and all of my experience. Even better, this is a completely done for you product because I already have the sales page created. I've already created the training. I've already created the membership area. Let me show you exactly how it works. So in order to access your My Agency, the first thing you do is click on this My Agency link. So once you have your agency access opened, you can go ahead and create a new agent. And this will allow you to manually create accounts for Brett Circle. So just go ahead and type in the agent's name, email address, and password, and then click on Create Agent Account. And you will have then created an account for whoever you like to the Brett Circle members area. They will then be able to log in with these credentials that you created for them as if they had purchased the training product. Now this is useful for somebody who doesn't get their access details from JVZoo or somebody that you just want to give access to. However, what most people are going to want to do is sell Brett Circle automatically. They're not going to want to have to create accounts for everybody each time they make a sale. In order to do that, you can use JVZoo. So let me go over to my JVZoo account. And the first thing that you want to do after logging into your JVZoo account is go up here to Sellers and click on Sellers Dashboard. You're going to see a button in the right-hand corner here that says Add a Product it's free so go ahead and click on that button and you can then create your product on JVZoo in this video I'm gonna go over each of the required settings so that you can understand how to set up your product on JVZoo there are some settings that are not required such as autoresponder integration I'm not gonna cover those in this video because they're optional we're just gonna cover the required settings that you're gonna need in order to get this to work so the very first thing is going to ask you if you want to allow sales. And obviously if you want to sell this product, you're going to want to leave this checked as yes. It's going to ask you if you want to show it in the marketplace. We're going to set this to no. And the reason we're going to set this to no is because if you show it in the marketplace, you have to enter a description and keywords and all those optional things. So we're going to keep it simple in this video and just set it to no. So that way we can fill out the least number of settings as possible. It's going to ask you for the launch date and time. You can just leave this to the default, which is going to be the current time right now. You need to enter a product name. Now, people are buying Brett Circle, so you should enter your product name as Brett Circle or something very similar to that. If you name it something completely different, people are going to get confused when they get access to Brett Circle 
and but they bought something with a completely different name. So I strongly suggest you enter a name in here that is Brett Circle or something very related to Brett Circle. I'm just going to put in Brett's Circle. It's going to ask you for the currency that you want to your purchases to be made in. Most people are going to be happy leaving this at the US dollar. It's going to ask you for the product price. Now you are free to set the product price to what you want. However, there is one requirement. You must charge at least $27. You cannot charge less than $27 for Brett Circle. And I'll be honest when I tell you why. The reason is because I don't want this product to get devalued. I don't want it to be sold at you know seven dollars or three dollars or nine dollars because that's just going to devalue the product and it's going to make people with the agency access start competing with each other to have the lowest price so i'm going to set a minimum in this case and the minimum is twenty seven dollars now that's not going to be a problem at all though i sell brett circle at ninety seven dollars several times a month so even at twenty seven dollars it's still an amazing value for the people that buy it as a matter of fact, even though the minimum price is 27 I actually strongly suggest that people go with 47 or more. And that's what I'm going to enter. I'm going to put in $47 for the purchase price. It's going to ask you for your commission payout. And if you're going to be selling this with affiliates, if you're going to let affiliates promote this for you, then you have to decide how much of the sales price you want to give to the affiliates. And that's what you enter in here. Normally when I do a product like this, I don't want to pay anything to the affiliates. I'm just going to promote it through my own efforts. And in that case, I enter 1%. You can't enter 0%, so I put in 1% because people are going to see a 1% commission and they're not going to want to promote anyway. So if you're just planning on promoting Brett Circle through your own efforts, then enter 1%. If you plan on getting affiliates and allowing affiliates to promote this for you, you're going to need to enter in a reasonable commission. And a reasonable commission is 50% or more. It's going to ask you for the quantity, and the quantity is the maximum number of copies that you're going to sell. For example, I'm only going to sell 50 copies of the agency access. So I would put in 50 here when I was setting up my agency access product in JVZoo. However, you normally are going to want to be able to sell as many copies as you want. So you could just leave this setting blank so that way you can sell an unlimited number of copies. The next setting is the support email, and I do the support for the product. If people have a question about the training, they can contact me and I will give them support on that. However, you still need to enter in your support email address here because there is one thing that I can't do, and that one thing is give refunds. Sometimes customers are going to want a refund and they need to have a way to contact you so they can request a refund. I cannot give a refund on your behalf, so you need to enter a valid email address right in here so that way they can contact you if they need a refund. If you don't put a valid email address in this section, the customers who want a refund will not be able to contact you and they're going to resort to filing a PayPal dispute you're just going to have problems so make sure you enter in a valid support email address you can skip the next few settings and go right down to sales page URL and this is the URL of your sales page and you can actually get that from Brett Circle so what you do is you go over to Brett Circle log into your account click on the my agency link click on agency settings and you can then see your sales page URL right here so go ahead and copy this URL, take it back over to JVZoo, and paste that right in here. You can leave pass affiliate ID to sales page set to no. Go down to delivery method. You're going to deliver this via a thank you page. The thank you page is going to be the sign up page where people will be able to create their account after they purchase. So you go ahead and you check thank you page. It's then going to ask you if you want to pass parameters to download page. You absolutely must check this. If you do not check that, your customers will not be able to get access to their purchase. They're going to get angry. They're going to start asking for refunds. So you absolutely must make sure that you check this checkbox that says pass parameters to download page. You can then enter in your thank you slash download page. And in order to get that, you go back over to Brett Circle into the agency settings and you could see your JVZoo product URL.
simply copy this URL right here, take it back over to JVZoo, and paste it inside of that section. It's going to ask you what your return period is going to be. And this is the period that people have to try out the product before they can request a refund. You definitely need to set a return period. I normally suggest that people set between 7 and 30 days. I usually give 30 days for software, but for training, I generally only give 7 days. 7 days is more than enough for them to view some of the training and see if they're enjoying it, seeing if they are finding it beneficial, and if they don't, they can ask for a refund. After 7 days, if you give like a 30 or a 40 day refund period, what's going to happen is people are going to go through the training completely sometimes multiple times and then they're going to ask for a refund get their money back and you just lost out and they got the training for free so normally what i do for training is enter in a seven day refund period it's going to ask you if you want to make your product eligible for product of the day and product of the day is where jvzoo picks one product and promotes that one product for the day and i can be quite honest with you here the chances of JVZoo picking you as product of the day are almost zero. JVZoo just about always picks established vendors as product of the day. And if you check this box, even if they don't pick you, they will get a copy of all of the email addresses of your customers. And so you'll be building their list for them, even if they don't select you as product of the day ever. For this reason, if you're just getting started, I usually suggest that people leave this unchecked and don't even try for product of the day because you're probably not going to get picked anyway and also you're just going to be building JVZoo's email list for them. The final settings are completely optional. Any notes that you want to give to potential affiliates, any notes that you want to put into your customer's receipt, you can place them in these boxes. I usually just leave them blank though. Once you have everything set up the way you want, simply click on the Save Product button. Now, I do want to point one thing out. If you're very new to JVZoo, you might see a message that says that your product cannot be sold or that your product is over your price limit. And this usually happens to people who are creating their first product or who are very new to JVZoo. You don't have to worry about that message though. It has nothing to do with the price that you're selling. What actually happens is sometimes when people are very new to JVZoo, JVZoo will actually set their product price limit at like $1. So if you want to sell anything over $1, you have to contact them. And that's what they want. They want to be in contact with new vendors. So that way they can just touch base with you and make sure that you're a good, honest person. So if you see a message saying that your product is over your price limit or your product cannot be sold, don't worry about it. Don't panic. All you have to do is contact JVZoo support and ask them to approve your product for you. After your product is completely set up on JVZoo and approved and ready to be sold, you can then go ahead and find the product that you just created in your product list. Click on the Buy Buttons link. Find a button that you want to use. Uh, so I'll go ahead and use this one right here. Make sure you get the HTML code and not the BB Forums code. Go ahead and grab that code it back over to your agency settings and paste it in this box right here that says JVZoo buy button code then click on save settings and that is all there is to it you are now set up and you can automatically sell this product with JVZoo anytime you send traffic to your sales page URL which is right here your buy button will show on our sales page and you will be able to sell the Brett Circle membership as if it was your product. Now there is one thing that is slightly different than other agency accounts that I've done. I've done several different agency accesses for many of my different products and normally I leave it to people to drive their own traffic to their own agency account and their own agency sales page. And you can certainly do that. If you take this URL, you can drive your own traffic to that and guarantee that your JVZoo buy button will be the one that shows. However, Brett Circle already has traffic sources already established. I have squeeze pages, I have different 
links and banners uh, from my blog I have things set up already that automatically drive traffic to it so what I'm actually going to do is set the system so that way if somebody comes to the Brett Circle sales page without it being a agent's specific URL it will automatically and randomly pick one agency account and display their buy button this way everybody will get a chance to get some of that traffic that I'm already driving to the sales page anyway and you'll be able to get sales automatically this doesn't necessarily mean that you shouldn't be driving traffic directly to your own URL because you should always try to get as much traffic as possible but you will get some free traffic from the sources that I've already set up as a Brett Circle agency member, you're not only going to get the Brett Circle training for yourself, but you're also going to be able to sell it as a complete done-for-you system as your own product. You're going to be able to make money selling it and build up your own email list. If you're ready to do the most profitable thing that anybody can do online, if you're ready to take the step from being a consumer to being a product vendor, if you're ready to do what every single successful internet marketer does, click the link below and pick up your agency access to Brett Circle right now.